Hey everybody, welcome to the EmacsConf 2019. I'm Tony and I hope this video will help you to get started with the Yasnippet package. At first, we'll have a look at some useful commands and variables provided by Yasnippet, Yasexpand, Yasdescript tables, and Yasnippet div. Then, we'll write a snippet for the JS mode using the command yasnew snippet which pops a new buffer for writing a snippet. Ready? OK, let's go. In JavaScript, to control log some text, we just type log and hit tab to expand the snippet. It moves the cursor between the parentheses. We can do the same with a if statement and we move through the snippet with the tab key. To display the available snippet of the buffers mode, we use the command yes describe tables. We scroll down. And we see that function is a snippet and f is a key. If we type f and hit tab, it expands the snippet. Let's go back to the describe table. We scroll down. And with the cursor on the snippet name function, we hit written. Now, in another window, we can inspect the snippet definition. The first line will tell Emacs this is a snippet. The second and third lines define the name and the key of the snippet. And after this line, the snippet's body starts. The dollar sign indicates where the cursor is going to be, and the numbers signify where which other tab is going to move you through the snippet. The cursor will move first before the open parenthesis to let you fill the function name. Then it will move after the open parenthesis to let you fill the function's arguments. And finally, the cursor will end at zero. Now, we'll go back to the JavaScript file. To know where our snippets are defined, let's see the variables yasnippetsnippetdis, which list the top-level snippets directories. We can see that some of my snippets are defined in these directories. Let's have a look on it. Well, for instance, the available snippet for the LaTeX more are defined in this directory, LaTeX-mod, and each file defines exactly one snippet. Okay, now assume that you are using the framework express to build API and you want that app to be the key of the snippet that looks like this. For that, let's just call the command yes new snippet. It pops a new buffer for writing the snippet. We enter the name express app, the key, which is app, and for the organization in the describe table, we add the snippet to the group express. For testing, we enter blah blah, and we save it, express app, yes, and 
we this will automatically load the snippet. Let's go back to the JavaScript file. Now we hit tab and it expands it. Okay, now we copy the text we want for the snippet. We passed it and we add the end position of the cursor. We saved it and go back to the JavaScript file. Now we hit tab and it expands it as this way. Okay, pretty cool. Now, in the cycle of the cursor, we add two positions. First position and second position. This allows us to write on the fly the method and the path of the app object. Let's back to the JavaScript file. We expand it and now we can write the method and the path. Okay. To be more readable, we add some placeholders for the first two positions of the cursor. We add method and we add path. Let's have a look on it. We go back to the JavaScript file. Now we expand it and we see the placeholder. Yep. We replace it with the method and the path. Yeah, we did it. We've written the snippet express app and it works. For the end, we check in the describe table if the snippet appears. We go back to the describe table, we scroll down. And there it is. Okay. Now you can write your own snippets. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Tony. Thank you for watching. Keep learning and stay alive.